What's going on guys? John Alder here from CodingMe.com and in this video, I'll show you how to link multiple text boxes with one scroll bar with Kinter and Python. All right, guys, like I said, in this video, we're going to link multiple text boxes with one scroll bar. I'm not sure why exactly you'd want to do this, but I've gotten actually several questions recently about how to do this. And you can use the method that I'm going to teach you in this video to link anything that uses a scroll bar. So list boxes, frames, anything at all that uses a scroll bar. If you have multiple things of them, multiple widgets, you can connect them with one scroll bar using this method that I'm going to show you. So let's head over to our code. I'm using the sublime text editor and then get bash terminal as always. And as always, you can find a link to the code in the pinned comment section below, as well as a link to the playlist with all the other Kinter videos in this series, almost 200. So check those out if you haven't so far. So I've got a file called text scroll.py, basic Kinter starter code that we always have. And the first thing we want to do is let's just create a quick frame to put our text boxes in, just get, sort of keep them all in one place. So I'm going to call this my underscore frame. It's going to be a frame. We want to put it in root. And then let's go my underscore frame dot pack. And let's give this a pad Y of like 20, kind of push it down the screen a little bit. So now let's uh, create two text boxes. So I'm going to call this one my text one, and it's going to be a text box. We want to put it in my frame. And let's give this a width of like 20 and a height of like 25 ish. And for fun, let's give it a font of say Helvetica and a font size of like 16. Now we'll have to put some scroll bar code in here, but for now we'll just leave this like this. So I'll go ahead and create a second one, my text two, and then let's my underscore text dot pack this guy. And let's put this on a side of right and give it a pad X of like five, just to space these apart a little bit. So let me copy this and do the same thing for my text two. Uh, we don't want any pad X on this one though. And instead of right here, we want this one to be left. Okay, let's go ahead and save this and run this just to make sure this looks okay. I'm in my C GUI directory. So let's run Python text scroll.py. But before we do that, if you like this video and want to see more like it, be sure to smash the like button below, subscribe to the channel, give me a thumbs up for the YouTube algorithm, and check out codemy.com where I have dozens of courses with hundreds of videos that teach you to code. Use coupon code YouTube1 to get $30 off membership. That's all my courses, videos, and books. For one time fee at just $49, which is insanely cheap. All right, end of commercial. Let's run this guy. And when we do, we see we've got two text boxes side by side. No big deal. Okay. So, all right, those look good. Now let's add our scroll bar text to the text boxes themselves. So let's go Y scroll command. Now I've got lots of videos on scroll bars using them in all kinds of different ways. So if you don't know what these are, check the playlist for those and uh, watch a couple of those and see what's going on. I'm not going to explain this. We're just going to go through it. So let's create a scroll bar called text underscore scroll. We'll do that in just a second. And we want to dot set this guy. And for good measures, let's give a wrap of none. Okay, so let's copy this Y scroll command and paste it to our other text box as well. So we've got this text underscore scroll thing. We need to actually create that now. So I'm going to actually come up here and do it. And let's say create our scroll bar. And let's go text underscore scroll equals. This is going to be a scroll bar. And we want to put it in my frame. And then let's text underscore scroll dot pack. We want to put this on the side of right. We want it over there on the right side. And let's give this a fill of Y. So the Y coordinate is up and down. And that's what we want it to do. So, okay, that looks good. So now let's come down here and configure our scroll bar. So configure scroll bar. We always have to do this with scroll bars. It's just text underscore scroll dot config. And the command we want to give now normally we would do scroll bar -y commands, but that won't work when we're trying to link two of them. So normally, like I said, we would do a scroll bar command, like for instance, our text box is my underscore text one, we would go dot Y view, right? So instead of doing that, what we're going to do is we're going to hack around on this a little bit and create our own custom function. So instead of calling one text box, I'm going to create a multiple Y view, I'm just going to call it multiple Y view. Right. So we need to now create this function. So let's come up here and uh, somewhere up here. Let's go Y view function and let's define multiple Y view. Now this is a little bit different than normal. Now normally we would just write our code and everything would be fine, but it's sort of like a binding where we're passing an event. We're not actually passing an event. We're passing args. So we need to actually pass in args, right? Arguments. So here we just call my underscore text one dot y view and just pass in those args. So we just pass in args. 
Let me copy this. And now we have two text boxes. So we have two of these. And that's all there is to it. So let's go ahead and save this. Head back over here, run this guy again. So let's just type in some text here. And do it like that. And then do the same thing over here. So now we could see both of these guys are linked. Right? So it's a little weird because it's not perfect. Because if we put a whole lot more stuff in this one than in this one, right? You can see it, it's kind of the other side's going a little faster as we scroll, right? So it's not perfect, but I don't know really how else you would want it to be. I mean, you would kind of want it to be like that, right? So they're sort of linked. So when you get to the end of this one, it's also the end of that one, right? So eh, kind of cool. And that's all there is to it. Now, one last thing, what are these args, right? If you're curious about that, we can just print them onto the screen here and just take a look. And it's basically sort of like coordinates of where the scroll bar is scrolling. So it knows, you know, how to pull things down in the, tech, in the text box to coordinate with the scroll bar. So we could just print them to the terminal. So if we save this and run it one more time and then paste in some stuff here, same thing here. Now we grab this and go down. Nothing happens in the terminal until we close the program. But then when we do, we see the args are these move to and they're you know sort of coordinates. So they start out close to zero. Well, they start out at zero. So I guess zero is the top. And as you pull down, this number becomes larger. Right. Until it stops. Right. So these args are important. Like I said, if we don't pass them in like this, it doesn't work at all. So just sort of keep that in mind. And that's all there is to it. And like I said, you can use this method, this creating multiple Y view, and you don't have to call this multiple Y view. You can call this anything you want. You can call this Bob if you want, right? Whatever. These are multiple Y views. So that's why I called it multiple Y view, but call it anything you want. And like I said, this method will work with anything that you're connecting with more than one thing. So multiple list boxes, multiple labels, multiple frames, multiple text boxes. Anything that uses a scroll bar can use this method and uh, pretty cool. So that's all for this video. If you'd like to be sure to smash like button below, subscribe to the channel, give me a thumbs up for the YouTube algorithm and check out codemy.com where you can use coupon code YouTube one to get $30 off of membership. So you pay just $49 to access all my courses, over 47 courses, hundreds of videos and the PDFs of all my best selling coding books. Join over 150,000 students learn to code just like you. My name is John Alder from codemy.com and I'll see you in the next video.